What is inertia? Oh, that's a great question. You should answer. That is a good answer. What is the tendency or change in an object? So say a bowling ball was like moving towards the bowling pins. Well, it has a change because it's moving. You see where I'm coming from? Do you? Um, law is the law of motion. Now, force equals mass times ex acceleration. That's how you find motion, apparently. What's well, also how you find force. Okay, so during that time, for like motion or whatever, you could calculate how much something has moved, which is honestly really helpful. And which is why, like, science is so amazing. Because you could just figure things out, you know? The third law is... Every action has an equal opposite reaction. Oh, if you're driving a car and, you know, you just... It's just... And you crash it. Well, um... Well, first of all, it's not going to go too well for your insurance. But besides that... Okay, but besides that, um, if you crash into a car and, like... You're in back of the car and you crash. Like, it's gonna have the equal amount of damage as you had whenever you crash into the car. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, you're lost. Right, so the next topic is... The next topic that we'll be talking about, like I said, is machines. What is the point of machines? Well, machines help us on a daily basis. They help us with, well, they help us, they help us dig a grave. But they also could help us put a huge tree in the middle of, what is it, Time, not Times Square, in New York. That, that place in New York where they hang the Christmas tree. Yeah. 